an oil pressure gauge made by Sykes Pickerman. To see what your oil pressure will be. You have a gauge pipe with an adapter fitting, and then you have your adapters in here. Okay, right now, what we have here 300 or 200 TDI oil filter housing. This is where you'll be fitting your adapter into. If I bring it closer up to the camera, you can see that's the oil pressure switch. The time you'd suspect whether your oil pressure was dodgy or not is if your oil pressure light was flickering. Right, so what we'll do is whip this out of here first, get your switch out. Right, this is where you're going to fit your adapter into. I'm going to measure this, as you can see, with my vernier canvas, just to get the thread, which would be that's 10. Okay, and then the pitch, well that looks like one mil to me, so I'll have a look here. If you look at your old pitch just there, can you see that in there? Perfect fit, okay. Alright, so that's 10 by 1. I'll look up on the old chart here, which will tell me, adapter, okay, I'm 10 by 1. Probably can't see that from there, because it's getting rather oily, and that's adapter number 6. Adapter number six. No, that's number nine. What's this one? Adapter number six. Screw right in there, as you can see. I've got a uh, ceiling ring. Just to make sure the oil doesn't spew out when you're actually running the engine. You'll get the technical data from the manual. And um, what you do is you screw this up tight. Obviously, this is fitted on the engine. You have your filler here and you have your point out here. Okay, which is to your oil cooler. You've got your adapter screwed in, uh, locked off, and then what happens with this is you have your adapter plug fit on to here, like so. And then it's a matter of running the engine 3000 rpm to bring you up to what pressure you need to read. Okay, we'll have a look at that on the vehicle.